right. Hey guys, I'm back. We're back. I have a new face here with me today. Normally it's my dad watches, but today I'm starting a new series called my friend watches. <laughs> Found out recently she hasn't watched a lot of the classics, um, 80s, 90s, I guess. Um, today we're starting off with Back to the Future. What do you know about Back to the Future, if anything? That he goes back to the future. <laughs> and you know Michael J. Fox is in it? Yes. Okay. You know anybody else that's in it? Uh, the dude with the uh, white hair. Christopher Lloyd. Plays the professor, I think his name is. Yeah. Yeah. He was in Who Framed Roger Rabbit. Have you seen that? Mm -hmm. He was also in a really old movie, uh, One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest in the 60s. You probably haven't seen that. No. Um, I'm sure he's been in other things that I can't think of off the top of my head, but yeah. I guess that's it. Leah Thompson, but I don't know what you would have seen her in. Um, she did play the mom in Switch to Birth, that TV show that was on about 10 years ago. I don't know if you ever watched that. Some of it. Charlie and I did, only because we were living in North Carolina, and when we heard it took place in Kansas City, it kind of was cool to, like, match. Nobody ever films anything based in Kansas City. Right. But anywho, enough gabbing. Um, this is Back to the Future, I think 1985. If she likes it, we'll watch the other two, although it is a pretty perfect movie and a pretty perfect trilogy. So, uh, on that note, let's get to the movie. And this, we don't need this in here either. Jesus, that made me look like a weakling. Are you one of those people that like when they use the title of the movie in the movie in a line? Sometimes they do. When they use the tagline as a tagline. Some people are like hardcore. They look for it to see if they actually use it. And they're like, yay, they use the title. And that's the bomb. Honey butter cocoa. That's what I need for my retro kitchen. I like that. cat clock. I want the dog, the poodle. Or the owl clock. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. The crack is missing. You do know who you is in the news is, right? The Senate is expected okay. to vote on this. Band the facility have denied the rumor that a case of missing plutonium was in fact stolen from their vault two weeks ago. Seeing the matter, no comments. Something so, crispy toast. <sighs> I don't think Cal Can is in business anymore. Hey, Doc. Found the, the plutonium. plutonium. <laughs> We're about to find out if the line is too loud or not. <laughs> this is. <laughs> right. I'm late for school. You've got a real attitude problem, McFly. You're a slacker. You remind me of your father when he went here. He was a slacker, too. You're too much like your old man. No McFly ever amounted to anything in the history of Hill Valley. I would have punched him in the face. History is going to change. <laughs> That's Huey from Hills. Mm -hmm. I only told you because you wouldn't recognize him because you didn't grow up in the 80s. The pinheads. chance to play in front of anybody. Marty, one rejection isn't the end of the world. I mean, what if they say I'm no good? What if they say, get out of here, kid. You got no future. I mean, I just don't think I could take that kind of rejection. Someday. Did they say say guess was a dollar? Take that truck up to the lake. Save the clock tower! Save the clock tower! Thirty years ago, lightning struck that clock tower and the clock hasn't run since. Save the clock tower! <laughs> Where were we? My dad. Right. I've got to go. My grandma had one of those cars. I'll call you tonight. In blue. I'll be with my the grandma. Here, let me give you the number. That's the power of love. So 
So is this an orgy American song? Yes. <laughs> I'll speak to five dollars. I also noticed there was an adult bookstore in the background. The Bail Bondsman. And the town is us. Mm -hmm. It looks like it used to be a cute suburb at one point. That your uh, insurance is going to pay for the damage? Well, my insurance? It's your car. And uh, where's my reports? Uh, well, I haven't finished those up yet. Hello, anybody home? Oh. Uh, think, McFly, oh. do you realize what would happen if I handed my reports in your handwriting? McFly, your shoes untied. Oh. Don't be so gullible, <laughs> McFly. Got the place fixed up nice, so McFly. Say hi to your mom for me. <laughs> Looks like they aged him up. I think they did slightly. I know what you're gonna Afraid I'm just not very good at confrontations. There's only one calorie in the Diet Pepsi. Yeah, it's like a Pepsi free, Pepsi Zero, I think it said. Why not? It said zero calories. Your Uncle Joey didn't make parole again. <laughs> Time to change that oil. <laughs> <laughs> Boys. When I was your age, I never chased a boy or called a boy. If Grandpa hadn't hit him, then none of you would have been born. Yeah, well. It was the night of that terrible thunderstorm, remember, George? Your father kissed me for the very first time on that dance floor. It was then that I realized that I was going to spend the rest of my life with him. Wait, in one sentence, she went. Her emotions were just like. Mm hmm. Sodas back in the day had like a half the calories or most of the amount of calories? I don't know. Size clock is in precise synchronization with my control watch. Watch ahead. Looks like what did I sign up for? <laughs> it's like a giant RC car. Mm -hmm. My calculations are correct. When this baby hits 88 miles per hour, you're gonna see some serious shit. into a car, why not do it with some style? Look out! I think the DeLoreans were more appreciated when they were made. They ended up flopping and hardly anybody bought them. There's one factory that still makes them by order. You have to order them and pay for them first, though. Why the dog is still okay? Yeah. <laughs> like that dog they sent out of space? I don't think it ever came he's back. Fine. And he's completely unaware that anything happened. Plain. Unfortunately, no, it requires something with a little more kick. Plutonium! Uh, plutonium. Wait a minute. Are you, are you telling me that this sucker is nuclear? 
Did you rip that off? Of course. I'm a group of Libyan nationalists. They want me to build them a bomb. I don't know why all I can think of is uh, Darth Vader. Oh. <laughs> I was going to say he doesn't want to turn into arts, but I don't think if he, I don't know if he's seen Lost or not. No. That scared me. There's a guy in Lost who accidentally blows himself up unexpectedly. Work hard, Marty! Who? Who? Who do you think? The Libyans! Holy sh! Oh, Jesus. No! Bastard! I just realized that it looks like a band in Lost, too. I'm going for 88. Okay. Kind of anywhere better than here right now. Except for maybe with dinosaurs. But this isn't land of lost. <laughs> oh Jesus. Oh, shit. I don't think you can catch up with you. Take it that used to be the mall, or that was where the mall yeah. is. He was talking about that. Mr. Peabody, thinking he was going to be like a pine tree farmer, or he attempted to be back in them. Look, <laughs> the doors don't help any either. No. <laughs> Not at all. <laughs> <laughs> it's Darth Vader on the business. It's all a dream. It's just a it's gonna change so much in the future. So <laughs> I didn't realize it was Twin Pines Ranch. I forgot about that part. It's been a while since I've seen this front to back. Empty. No more plutonium. That I knew for sure, but it sounded like the batteries did too. Because the controller, the panel went out as well, and now the battery won't turn over. Engine won't turn over. It's really that easy to push. If it's angled just enough downhill, it's in neutral. Queen of Montana. Ronald Reagan. I would stand up. Ronald Reagan was an actor? Mm -hmm. Before he was a president? Mm -hmm. Western's voice there. Mm. Mm -hmm. the clock tower and pop stop. Really? I don't know if it's a clock tower, if it's a church. You can hear it at the top of the hour. It's gotta be a dream. Oh, that Western auto sign behind him reminds me. I still want to buy that Kansas City shirt. <laughs> well, actually, I figured since it wasn't due till Monday. Hello? Hello? Anybody home? Hey! Think with fly. Think. Realize what would happen if I hand in my homework and your handwriting? I'll get kicked out of school. I'll finish that on up tonight and then I'll uh, bring we it over. We had to slightly age up everybody in the 80s so they could be yeah, their normal selves. It's on the oh, McFly, your shoes are tied. Uh, oh, uh, <laughs> don't be so gullible, McFly. Oh. <laughs> the way he's looking at him. Mm. You're George McFly. Yeah, who are you? Say, what do you let those boys push you around like that for? You think I'm gonna spend the rest of my life in this slop house? Watch it go. And one day I'm gonna be somebody. That's right, he's gonna be mayor. Mayor. Now that's a good idea. I could run <laughs> for mayor. Colored mayor, that'll be the day. You wait and see, Mr. Corella. Clean up this town. Good. You can start by sweeping the floor. <laughs> kind of reminds me of Fritz's. They did a pretty good job of their style. Hey, Dad! 
I like to go back sometime. Mm -hmm. I'd have done that. I tripped over my heels when he turned around like that. Mm -hmm. I would have probably snapped an ankle. Bird watching, eh? <laughs> <laughs> and I'm assuming that's his grandpa. Hey, Wait a minute. Who are you? Stella! Another one of these damn kids jumped in front of my car! Another? Take him in the house. Mom? Is that you? You're there now. You're safe and sound now, back in good old 1955. 1955. You're my mom. My name is Lorraine. Lorraine Baines? Yeah. You're so thin. Just relax, Cal, when you've got a big bruise on your head. Ah. <laughs> or my pants. Over there? On my hope chest? I've never seen purple underwear before, Cal. <laughs> the look on her face. Calvin Klein? It's written all over your underwear. <laughs> Do you mind if I sit here? No. Fine. No. Good. Fine. That's a, a big bruise you have there. <laughs> She knew. <laughs> she would not be looking at him that way. You're like, what are the odds? Someone's a time traveler. Yeah, right. Yeah, we have two of them. Wow. You must be rich. You know, why do you look so familiar to me? Do I know your mother? <laughs> I think maybe you do. Don't you think he ought to spend the night? I mean, after all, Dad almost killed him with the car. That's true, Marty. I think you're our responsibility. Oh, gee, I don't know. And he can sleep in my room. I gotta go. Uh, I gotta go. Oh, Thanks God. very much. It was wonderful. You were all great. Uh, see you. <laughs> much later. <laughs> Lorraine, you ever have a kid who acts that way, I'll disown you. <laughs> Joke on your popcorn. <laughs> you want me to make a donation? To the Coast Guard Youth Auxiliary. I came here in a time machine that you invented. Now I need your help to get back to the year 1985. Who's President of the United States in 1985? Ronald Reagan. Ronald Reagan? The actor? Then who's Vice President? Jerry Lewis. <laughs> I suppose Jane Wyman is a First Lady. Well, is what makes time travel possible? Oh, the starter. That was close. What did you say? That was the battery. It was dead. Starter's part of the ignition system. I thought it ran out of plutonium. Not too, oh, but it still would have turned over. Use the plutonium to time drive. I guess not to just drive right away. <laughs> it worked! <laughs> Ronald Reagan. I finally invent something that works! No wonder your president has to be an actor. He's got to look good on television. Whoa, this is it. This is the part coming up, Doc. <laughs> 1.21 gigawatts. Oh, what the hell is a gigawatt? <laughs> How could I have been so careless? Very good question. 1.21 gigawatts. What would you say? A bolt of lightning. Unfortunately, you never know when or where it's ever going to strike. Actually, it does. It says here that a bolt of lightning is going to strike the clock tower at precisely 10.04 p.m. next Saturday night. Next Saturday night, we're sending you back to the future. Okay, all right, Saturday's good. It's like it's like it's been erased. Erased from existence. Oh, but has your mother ever 
see that cow, no, Doc. I don't know. I, I guess you felt sorry for him because her dad hit him with the car. Hit me with the car. Hey, it's really a pleasure to meet you. Oh, oh my God. Oh, uh, good. Why? Oh, I've been so worried about you ever since you ran off the other night. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Whoa, wait, wait a minute, Doc. Are you trying to tell me that my mother has got the hots for me? Precisely. <laughs> Whoa, this is heavy. Need some therapy. Of course, the enchantment under the sea dance. They're supposed to go to this. That's where they kiss for the first time. All right, kid. You stick to your father like glue and make sure he takes you to the dance. What if they didn't like them? What if they told me I was no good? I guess it would be pretty hard to see. He said he was demo tape to his girlfriend. And not you or anybody else on this planet is going to make me change my mind. <laughs> My name is Darth Vader. George, last night Darth Vader came down from Planet Vulcan and told me that if I didn't take Lorraine out, that he'd melt my brain. Yeah, well, uh, let's let's just keep this brain melting stuff to ourselves, okay? Lorraine, my density has brought me to you. What? Oh, I'm George, George McFly. I'm your density. Yeah, he's more worried about the car on the sidewalk than the dude on the skateboard. That's one of my favorite books. Looks like Billy Zane. It is. It is. I don't know if you would recognize him. Cool. <laughs> George. <laughs> Girl, get a grip. That's your son. I've seen the second season of Loki. Mm. And he talks about it not being to scale. That's kind of a callback to the picture. Oh God. How did you know I was 
was here. Oh, oh uh, this is my uh, doc. My uncle. Doc. If you'd ask me to the enchantment of the free dance on Saturday. What about, what about George? Why? I think a man should be strong. So he can stand up for himself. And protect the woman he loves. <laughs> You're not going to be picking a fight, Dad. Dad, Dad, Daddy-o. You're coming to a rescue, right? You mean you're going to go touch her on her... No, no, George. Look, it's just an act, right? Hey, you, get your damn hands off her. <laughs> you really think I ought to swear? Yes, definitely. God damn it, George, swear. It's going to be really hard waiting 30 years before I can talk to you about everything that's happened in the past few days. I'm really gonna miss you, Marty. Doc, about the future. No! Marty! We've already agreed that having information about the future could be extremely dangerous. Whatever you've got to tell me, I'll find out through the natural course of time. Shot by terrorists. Please take whatever precautions are necessary to prevent this terrible disaster. Just a second. Do you mind if we park for a while? That's a great idea. I'd love to park. Marty, you seem so nervous. Is something wrong? <laughs> no. No. You all right? You all right? What are you doing? I swiped it from the old lady's liquor cabinet. Yeah, well, you shouldn't drink. Marty, don't be such a square. Everybody who's anybody drinks. Jesus, you smoke too? Marty, you're beginning to sound just like my mother. Have you ever uh, been in a situation where you knew you had to act a certain way, but when you got there, you didn't know if you could go through with it? You know what I do in those situations? What? I don't worry. Oh, God. I don't know what it is, but when I kiss you, it's like I'm kissing your son, my brother. It makes perfect sense. He's coming. You cost oh, 300 man. bucks damage to my car, you son of a bitch. Let him go, Biff. Well, look at what we have here. No, 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 stay right here with me. No, no, Come on, no, Lorraine. Come on, no, leave her alone, you bastard. Hey, beat it, spook. This don't concern you. <laughs> Who do you call it, spook, Pecklewood? Look, I don't want to mess with no reefer addicts, okay? Get home to your mom, boy. <laughs> Say that again. I said the keys are in here. Damn hands off. George, help me. Please. Just turn around, McFly, and walk away. You leave her alone. All right, McFly. Stop it! Have you break his arm? Leave him alone! Let him go! Let him go! <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Are you okay? Dance. Hey man, look at Marvin's hand. Unless uh, you know somebody else that can play the guitar. Will you be mine, my darling dear? Love you. George, aren't you gonna kiss me?
those movies from the 80s with that some horrible, horrible CGI. It was blue screen, not CGI. Excuse me. if he could take me home. Great, good, good, Lorraine. I have a feeling about you, too. <laughs> I have a feeling he set the word on fire when he was eight. <laughs> Such a nice name. I almost forget there's two storylines going on at the same time. Every time we flash back to that. Oh, yeah, we're doing this, too. The old man really came through. It worked. What? He laid out Biff in one punch. I didn't know he had it in him. He's never stood up to Biff in his life. Ever? Oh, why? What's the matter? All right. Let's set your destination time. What's the meaning of this? It's about the future, isn't it? It's it. Well, you didn't tell him to read it now. If he doesn't read it now, then it can't. The consequences can be disastrous. I refuse to accept the responsibility. In that case, I'll tell you straight out. I mean, he did make sense earlier. If he told him no, he'd live with that for 30 years, which could change things. Mm -hmm. But he did tell him not to read it until 85, so I guess potentially. Then we only have 11 months that he'd have to think about it. No, it wouldn't affect nearly as much. Oh, I have to tell you about the future! I have to That's not the time. Get right. That was smooth. Yeah, right? Of the process didn't stop. Right. I didn't think about that. That building was still going to be there when he showed up at 88 miles an hour. At least on the farm, he had all kinds of room to slow down. Oh, no, not again.
Proof vest. What proof vest? How did you know? I, I, I never got a chance to tell me. Take the letter, letter back. All that talk about screwing up future events, the space time continuum. <laughs> well, I figured. What the hell? <laughs> I miss an alarm clock radio so we could set it to radio and then like whatever it was on at the radio. Need a rematch. Oh, oh, a rematch? Why? Were you cheating? <laughs> no. Hello. Good morning. Oh. Mom, you, you look so thin. Oh, thank you, Marty. George. <laughs> See, there's Biff out there waxing her right now. Uh, now, Biff, I want to make sure that we get two coats of wax this time, not just one. <laughs> How about a ride, mister? Jennifer, everything is great. Marty! What is he wearing? You've got to come back with me! Where? Back to the future! Now what happens to us in the future? Or become assholes or something? No, 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 Marty. Both you and Jennifer turn out fine. It's your kids, Marty. Something has got to be done about your kids. Roads? Well, we're going, we don't need roads. Okay. So, oh, what was it? Oh, it's a 93 on Rotten Tomatoes and 94 on... Is that Metacritic, I guess? I think. I don't know. I have to know. <sighs> All right. What do you think? Out of 10. Mm -hmm. About a 9. Pretty good. Was it what you thought it was going to be? Mm hmm. About the same. It's kind of a fun 80s mm -hmm. comedy. Yeah. Michael G. Fox is amazing. Um, I mean, there's not a whole lot to say. Like I said in the beginning, it's a pretty perfect script like it's that's why it's an instant classic um do you want to see the second one back yeah. future part two all right not the clear i could you tell and see he had a clear tie on mm -hmm. yeah evidently that's what we were supposed to be wearing in 2015 but i guess i didn't get the memo here we are <clears> almost <throat> 10 years later oh god it is 2024 isn't it mm -hmm. okay well i guess Outro is short and sweet. Not a lot of questions. Anything you didn't like about it? Mm -mm. The thing that didn't really age well to me is the fact that they had he had to pretend to like. Oh, what was yeah? Like yeah, I mean I guess that could have gone a little differently. I don't even know why that was okay in the eighties to be honest. But I guess it had to be. You had to do the damsel in distress. I need some very serious therapy. <laughs> a lot of therapy. Yeah. All right. Well. Um, I don't know what else to say except for catch us for the next one. I don't know if Back to the Future 2 is going to be the next video. Um, trying to cram in a few watches of things while I'm here. Um, we have time to watch movies. So, subscribe and, uh, we'll see you in the next one. Say bye, Bailey. Bye. I used to say that to Dad. I'd be like, say bye. He'd be like, bye. <laughs>